Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys and this is gonna be, obviously I'm doing a video. <laughs> empties, this is empties. This is products that I used up, products that I've used a lot of that I bought too many times. And I wanted to let you guys know um, why I love them, what I like about them. I have all the products that I've used up in this box. I have a lot of stuff in here. Also, um, I did not make a beauty favorites for the year of 2016. I wanted to kind of make this a two in one. So this is actually products that I really loved for last year. Cause I use a lot of products in my videos and sometimes it's kind of confusing to see so many products and think like, okay, this is a favorite, this is a favorite, but do you really use it up though? Do you really like it that much though? Do you buy it again? Would you buy it again? And I hope that you guys enjoy it. So I will go ahead and jump right in because there's a lot of things that I want to talk about. I see a lot of soap and glory stuff in here. So we're just gonna pull all that out. I love these body products. I think I fell in love with Soap and Glory last year. I wanna say it was 2016, cause 2015 I was using other stuff. So these are the two that I put in here, but I know I purchased more than this. I'm almost out of my body wash. This is the Righteous Butter. This is um, one of maybe like seven or eight tubs that I've used up. Softening Shea Butter with Aloe Vera. It's a body moisturizer, but it is the most heavenly body butter I've ever used. I cannot get enough of this product, but I buy these by the bulk. Like whenever Ulta or Walgreens has a sale, cause usually they have a buy two, get the third one free. I use so much of it that I've had to like move over to the lotion and just use that instead because the lotion lasts a little bit longer. Um, but I do love the body butter. The body butter works so much better. Like it just, it's just so much thicker and creamier and it's so amazing. It feels so good on my skin. My skin is just so beautiful all the time. So this is my favorite body butter of all time and it's inexpensive. It's only 10 bucks, I think, 10 or 15 bucks. Another thing you can get from Soap and Glory that can go with that three for two special or whatever um, is the smoothie, the breakfast smoothie. I don't really like the Flake Away as much as I like this one. I don't know why the Flake Away is not in here because I use that all up. I bought the Flake Away twice, but I bought this uh, breakfast scrub probably four times. It smells so good. It smells like breakfast. Soap and Glory are my go-tos. I actually really love the Soap and Glory face wash as well. I'm not out of it yet. Um, I don't remember when I got that. I think I got it in like October or something and it's been lasting a really long time. So I haven't used it up yet, but I do use it every day. A lot of the stuff in here is skincare because I use so many makeup products that I don't ever run out of makeup. Let's talk about foundation, shall we? Um, one of them is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I've bought this twice. It looks like there's something in here because it's like on the sides, but I can't squeeze that out for some reason. For the life of me, I can't squeeze it out. But I do love this product. Um, it is definitely one of my favorite foundations ever. And this is a low end, low budget foundation. I got mine from Target and I just love this foundation. It's so good for oily skin. It's probably one of the best foundations for oily skin just because it keeps your face matte all day. It has really, really good coverage. I love her. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is definitely one of my favorites. My color is Classic Tan, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. This is my second bottle. Love this foundation as well. It's really good for matte skin as well. Actually, I love to mix these two. These are really good mix. And then this is my all time favorite foundation currently at the moment. It is expensive, but it's worth the money. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And this is the shade Amber. And you can't tell how much is in this bottle, which frustrates me, but I know it's empty because like I'm trying to squeeze stuff out of it every day and it's like giving up on me. It took me a while to run out of this. I got this last year, last summer. So it took me a long time to run low on this foundation, which is really, really impressive because I've been using it a lot. But yeah, every time I try to leave this foundation, something keeps pulling me back, me back. You guys know I struggle, okay. I leave my mishaps on camera. A lot of YouTubers don't leave their mishaps with makeup on camera. You can crucify me for my foundation choices. Listen, all I know is I do have some that are perfect for me. And this one is one of them. I actually have a whole review on this foundation. So you can go watch my review if you wanna see it. But I love this foundation and I will be buying it. Again. This is the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. I didn't really finish this. I liked it though. I used this all last year. Definitely one of my favorite Murad products. I've tried a couple. If you're looking for a scrub that's not too harsh for your skin that will smooth out 
texture and roughness on your skin. This really helped out a lot with my texture. So I can definitely attest to this and say that it does work and I would buy it again. Probably won't buy it again because I don't have texture as much as I used to. I actually don't really have any texture at all anymore. So I don't really need this anymore, which is why I didn't use it all up, but I did use majority of it. There's probably only like this much left. So um, I considered it an empty. Another Murad product that I got going on in here, I have the Murad Age Spot Pigment Lightening Serum. This is half full. This is my second bottle. I've bought this before, so it is a repurchase. And I love it. It is a 2% hydroquinone skin lightener. So it does not lighten your skin color. Simply use this to lighten dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It does not lighten your whole face. So even if you do use it all over, if you have dark spots all over, it won't necessarily lighten your natural skin color. It will lighten your dark spots and hyperpigmentation, anything that's not normal skin color. You know what I mean? It's expensive. I believe it's a $60 bottle of, of product, which I bought it twice. You know, that lets you know that I'm not just farting around here. I didn't get this sent to me. I don't have any kind of deals with Mirad. So just so you know, I did buy this with my own Dallas. And I actually appreciate how well this worked for me. I have found other things that work way better for me, but I do like this product. Now, the next product that I'm gonna talk about is probably a holy grail for me. This is an empty to rival all empties. Clinique Take the Day Off Bomb. This is a product that most people probably wouldn't purchase like just if you walk past it at the store, you probably wouldn't even pick it up. I don't know why I love this product so much, but I literally am obsessed with this product. I've tried to use other makeup removers and I can't. I just, I, I always go back to this. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. back, me back. Two empty ones here. These are not the only two. I purchased it once from Ulta and I think I bought it from Sephora maybe four times. I, there was one point where I used this all up while I was out of town and I had to go find a store to buy it again. It just slides your makeup off your face so effortlessly and it does not leave your face oily or greasy, which is the one thing that I do not like about using oils especially coconut oil on my face i'm an oily skin girl so i can't use coconut oil it blocks my pores all the way up rarely when i tell you i rarely use up hair products i get new hair products a lot but i don't ever really use one up all the time um, because i'm always trying new stuff plus i don't really do my hair a lot so for me to use up a bottle of something that has to do with hair is a big deal. I used up a whole tub of Eco Styler Gel last year because I was experimenting with my natural and I used up a whole bottle of Lotta Body um, hair foam. One of the hair products that I did keep, this is the Tea Tringle Shampoo from Trader Joe's. I have dry scalp and so I have to use products that tingle because it makes my scalp feel so clean, so fresh and so clean clean. So I really love this. Um, shampoo for that reason it's completely empty obviously better than sex mascara like i've bought this for mascara maybe i want to say like eight or nine times i bought this this is the la girl pro setting spray i wish they would make these in bigger bottles this is actually one of the best setting sprays i've ever used i really really like it it reminds me a lot of the Scandinavia spray, which I also have in here. The Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. Use this all up. I mean, it's completely bone dry. I sprayed every little spritz I could spray out of this bottle. I started using Scandinavia a long time ago, back when I used to do freelance makeup for brides and stuff. This is definitely a good one for oily skin. Um, another spray that I fell in love with in 2016 is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Taylor told me to purchase this. We went to Sephora together and she basically swindled me into spending my money on this expensive AF spray. And thanks Taylor for changing my life because it actually was amazing. And I used it all up. And it's funny because I only use this in the winter time. Because I live in such a cold climate, I live in Chicago, so the weather here is extremely dry. So this helps me get through the crustiness. Um, especially around my mouth area. My mouth area gets really dry in the winter time, so this really helps to keep that area nice and plump and moisturized. I will definitely say that I love this product. I'm not gonna lie and say that I purchased my second bottle, but my first bottle I did purchase, and I would repurchase it again. I forgot how much it was. I believe it was like $48, I wanna say. Something like that. It was really expensive, but it was worth it, girl. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud. Okay, this is the glam. What do you want to eat? I can grab something for you on my way back from Keenan's. So just let me know. What you gonna get? 
I love when I don't have to cook. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It's all empty, she's all empty. Didn't scrape the bottom, it just started getting dry because once you've opened it and closed it so many times, it does kind of dry out. So you gotta be careful, you gotta make sure you really close this tight. This is my favorite one. This is the only one that I use religiously. I actually do use the Thirsty Mud on a regular, regular, smegular. It's my favorite for traveling. When I go on planes, because my face gets really, really like dehydrated and parched on the plane, so the Thirsty Mud works wonders. But this is my first favorite. It's the first Glamble product that I ever tried, actually. It is expensive but it's worth the money. I have bought it twice and it's real nice. This is the, oh, I need to buy another one of these actually. Thank you for reminding me, Vicky. The tea tree oil from The Body Shop. If you have any active acne pimples, this helps to clear them up. I've actually stopped using benzoyl peroxide treatments and salicylic acid treatments, um, you know, like spot treatments and stuff. Personally, for my skin, I feel like it works better. The Skin Clearing Tea Tree Toner is my favorite toner of all time. I've repurchased that probably four or five times. I don't have it in here. I knew I threw it away though, and I, I don't know why I threw it away because I needed to show you guys. You should definitely check out the Tea Tree Toner as well as the Tea Tree Oil in the Body Shop Tea Tree line. Amazing line of stuff. Another toner that I I love is the uh, Pixie Glow Tonic. Pixie Glow line is really, really good. I got this from Target, so this is an inexpensive one as well, but it is a really good toner if you want to help brighten and make your skin glow. It has glycolic acid in it, which means it's going to help rejuvenate the skin and keep the skin looking young and fresh, um, helping with texture and dark spots and things like that, but mostly just to help you glow, um, keeping a youthful glow on your face. And last year was the year of glow skin. I don't know why my skin was just radiant all year. I was, I don't know, cause my, my year was so rough. And I've repurchased this one about three times. I wanna buy the bigger bottle of this. I don't know if I wanna commit to the bigger bottle yet, but there is a bigger bottle on the Pixie website. However, I just buy these at Target. This is the Benefit Total Moisture Cream. Used this all up and it took me a year, but it was a great year. Um, it smells really, really good. I was a little bit scared of it when I first tried it because of the smell. It smelled like it, it was a little bit too strong in fragrance to be something that was good for my skin. Because sometimes when products have a really strong fragrance, I mean, it kind of makes me nervous because fragrances can break you out, right? But this one did definitely did not break me out at all. I really appreciated how well this works for my skin. It's not oily, it's not greasy, doesn't leave a residue in the morning. Um, it just You just wake up refreshed and I really, really like this line of products. I actually really like Benefit's skincare line. I love their brow products, I love their skincare. Um, I just really wish they had a better shade range for their foundations and stuff because I can't use that. Brow stuff though is bomb. Benefit dropped a whole new brow line and it was amazing. Everything in it was great. The Cabrow, oh my God, the Cabrow was the best. The only thing that I used up from the line was the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I need to get another one because I actually miss using this brow product, but I really, really like this pencil. And another pencil that I really liked was the ColourPop Brow Pencil. And um, I really enjoyed these pencils. I actually just bought three more of this um, pencil in black and brown. Cheapest brow pencils that you can find that work this well. So pigmented and they give a nice precise line. They're not too thick or anything. Um, and only $5. After buying one of these bottles, I bought four more. I bought like a year supply of this because I never want to run out. It's that crucial. This is the Acne.org AHA Glycolic Acid 10% Base. I'm gonna read what it says before I even go into why I love this product. Powerfully exfoliating. Improves skin texture and leaves complexion visibly smoother. Reduces irritation. Ultra hydrating. Non-comedogenic. Won't clog pores. Fragrance free and dye free. This product contains 1% glycolic chum with a full glycolic An ultra calming licorice root extract. It gives the glycolic acid its characteristic yellow color. This is the most amazing product I've ever used on my face. You have post acne scarring. If you have hyperpigmentation, if you have a lot of texture from breakouts, if you have really rough skin, this is a Amazing. I love that it helps to resurface the skin. It not only just get rid of the dark spots. I feel like this is the one product that changed my life. I've used up one of them already. I'm on my second one and I'm almost done with my second one. I also bought a little travel size bottle to take with me when I travel. Also, some honorable mention that I don't actually have the empties for, but I did want to mention them. I've definitely repurchased the Cover Effects Click Stick 
um, cover click in 100 to contour my face. Um, I repurchased the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. I have purchased that again. Uh, twice actually I purchased that twice ColourPop K-pop collection. I love all of the lip colors in that collection specifically Chi love the Chi lip liner and The Chi ultra matte lip the benefit professional just now I ran out of one and I have a backup Yeah, that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it If you did please be sure to give me a thumbs up to see more empty videos and videos about my favorites and things that I really love I also wanted to ask you guys if you wanted to see a Amazon video because I buy a lot of of stuff on Amazon and I repurchase a lot of stuff on Amazon. I have a whole list of stuff from Amazon that I love, girl. You gonna trip. But other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Peace out.